The world's a dangerous place. And for the last 15 years, we've been focused as an army on uh, fighting a counterinsurgency, conducting training, advising, assisting, and enabling. Uh, we have shifted our orientation away from counterinsurgency training and advising um, to be ready to deal with those near-peer threats should we be called upon by a combatant commander. The 155, critical, critically important for us to be able to meet our combatant commander objectives and requirements while simultaneously building capacity and capability to deal with these near-peer threats. We've got threats out here that are, um, you know, guerrilla-like forces. Um, there's some insurgency. We've got a host nation security force that we're going to have to, you know, operate in and around. And as required, we're going to have to help them as well. So it's a much, much more complex problem set um, than what we've been faced uh, for the last 15 years in Iraq and Afghanistan. We have to be ready to defeat one near-peer threat while simultaneously denying the objectives of another, while simultaneously sustaining all that we're doing counterterrorism worldwide, and we have to defend the homeland. We cannot rely on one component of the Army to do all of that. It requires the entire Army, all 1,018,000 of us, to get all that done and sustain it over time in large campaigns. We owe it to our soldiers to ensure that they are ready when we send them out the door. And we, we owe that as, as a taxpayer to the American people, we owe the very best trained force so that they can deploy, accomplish their mission to the best of their ability um, and minimize casualties uh, while we're doing all that. But this brigade has, and the state, has a, an incredible reputation. Uh, they're highly motivated, they're disciplined, they're committed, they're dedicated, and they want to serve their country. They have uh, deployed previously, uh, they've distinguished themselves in, in combat, and uh, we're going to continue to ask uh, the state of Mississippi and the Army National Guard to continue to make those sacrifices in defense of our country. It's important. It's important for us as a nation. Um, and they're essential to the defense of this country and all the freedoms that we enjoy.